we are going to touch only briefly on a parameter expression in this lecture let's clear the console first so but we will be covering it extensively in the later just to mention that so it's a feature that is more useful in shell scripts and directly on the command line so many of the capabilities have to do with the system's ability to store small chunks of data and to give each chunk a name many uh, such chunks more properly called are variables are available for your examination so for example the variable user uh, contains username uh, to invoke parameter expansion and reveal the contents of user you should do this echo dollar sign and user and here as you can see here i printed my username so to list of the to see a list of available variables you can also try this print any v here and the less here we will use this and as you can see here we have this system variables and which is color fpg you can and the home directory is this our language log name is typhoon password oh no it's actually pwd uh here uh, this is the working directory that we are in and here we have uh, information about that so let's actually end this here oops here exit this and here with control Q or for example and as you can say press return log file is already in use so we are use this log file and here we are going to exit it now with control Z so you may have noticed that uh, with other types of expansion and as you can see we have, we have our current working directory is PWD so we're gonna clear and CD here and again CD let's go home here and ls and as you can see we are in the home here so as i said if you notice with other types of expansion if you mistype a pattern the expansion will not take a place and the echo command will simply display the mistyped pattern so with parameter expansion if you misspell the name of variable the expansion will still take place but will result in an empty string so for example this so as you remember in previous minutes of our lecture we print our username with user but if you write it like that echo suyer here or yeah suyer so actually it's a misspelled uh, type of the user when a and as you can see here we got nothing as ever and it's just a new line so you will also learn about the common substitution in this lecture so common substitution allows us to the output of a command as an expansion so in order to do that we will echo and here in the inside the braces we will use ls and here and as you can see we got this command here so and one of one of my uh, favorites is this here which and cp and as you can see here we got this so here we pass the results of which cp as an argument to the ls command thereby getting the list of the uh, list of the cp program without to know its full path name so we are not limited just a simple commands entire pi pipelines can be used for example and working with it we also have the cool thing here so now that, uh, now that we have seen how many ways the shell can perform expansions it's time to learn how we can control it so Take for example this echo this is oxley and oops not like this oh this is oxley academy and as you can see here this ignored all of these spaces here and you can also do for example uh, echo the total uh, total price pri price is for example hundred dollars and here and as you can see here the total price is zero so in this first example with this word splitting by the shell removed extra white space from the echo command uh, and the echo commands list of arguments so in the second example parameter expansion substitute an empty string for the value of 
100, one dollar, because it was an undefined variable. So the shell provides a mechanism called quoting to selectively suppress the unwanted expressions here. We also have the double quotes here, double quotes here. So the first type of quoting we will look at is double quotes. If you place text inside the double quotes, all the special characters used by the shell lose their special meaning and are treated as our ordinary characters. So the expressions are a uh, do dollar sign and backslash and backtick here, backtick. So this means that the word splitting, path name expansion, tiled expansion, and brace expansions are suppressed in this case. However, parameter expansion, arithmetic expansion, and common substitution are still carried out. Using double quotes, we can cope with file names containing embedded spaces. Uh, let's say we were the unfortunate victim of a file called this uh, two words.txt here. Uh, if we try to use this on the common line, we are uh, words splitting word line uh, called uh, the two words at txt. And if we try to use this on a command, word splitting will cause this to be treated as the two arguments rather than the desired single argument. So, for example, I want to create a new file. For example, touch, touch my file without question mark or something and here ls and as you can see we created my file which now if we write it like this for example ls l my file my file dot txt this will take as a two arguments but we in order to do access this my file we will do double quotes for accessing this here and as you can see here we accessed to my file here so there, and as you can see, now we don't have to keep tying those pesky double quotes. So remember, parameter expansions, arithmetic expansions, and common substitution still take place within the double quotes. So, uh, for example, look at this. So echo, and here we will do double quotes. So inside this double quote, we will user and dollar sign two plus two two plus two and after that we will use a dollar sign and after that we will call calendar so this call is actually calendar which we will show us and uh, calendar is actually not installed so let's actually install calendar so app sudo apt app pd install ncal and i don't think it will take much time because it i think it's just a, here kali and here, this is just a 69 kilobytes of file size, and it's already installed here. So now, let's clear our files, clear, and use previous here. And as you can see here, we got calendar on it, on the screen. So we shall take a moment to look at the effect of double quotes on comment substitutions. So first, let's look a little deeper at words, how word splitting works. In earlier lectures, we saw how word splitting appears to remove extra spaces of uh, in our text. Uh, for example, this is uh, this is Oxley, and here Academy, and as you can see here, it just ignored our text. So by default, the word splitting looks for the presence of a space, tabs, and new lines in line characters, line feed characters, and actually, and treats them as the limiters between words. So this means unquoted space, tabs, and new lines are not considered to be part of the text. So they serve only as separators because they separate the words into different arguments. Our example command the line contains a comment followed by four district arguments. If we add like this, for example, add the quotation marks uh, in the start of the end of the line. And as you can see here, it is not ignoring our new lines uh, or spaces uh, as it did in our previous like uh, previous example 